Online radio talk show host and political commentator says he's returning to Liberia today, Wednesday, from the United States. Henry Costa, host of the Costa Show, has been a staunch critic of President George Weir's government. He fled Liberia last year after the government accused him of forging a travel document and issued a criminal writ for his arrest. The government also told the local Bush Road Radio not host Costa's a talk show which is broadcast from the United States because Costa was a fugitive. Costa tells VOS James Barty he's going back to Liberia because President Weir told his justice minister to drop the charges against him and now he's returning home to run for the Liberian Senate seat held by President Weir's party. I'm going home because, uh, first of all, it's home. I miss home. I've not been home since uh, my eventful uh, return to the States in uh, January 2020. Uh, secondly, uh, as you may be aware, I have declared my intention uh, to run for the Senate seat of Montserrat County, uh, the country's most important political subdivision. So I'm going on the ground to begin to prepare for my 2023 Senate bid. But we have two senators already. We have uh, Darius Dillon and the other senator, I mean, on which party ticket are you running? The other senator's seat, the seat he currently occupies, will be up for grabs in uh, the 2023 general presidential election. That is the one for which I am contesting. And um, it took me a long time to come to this decision. Uh, there's been a, a widespread groundswell of support and call on me to step up and run. And so I've decided that it's high time I heeded the people's call and avail myself to their service in a different role. So are you running as an independent or on which party ticket? No, sir. I am a registered, bona fide card carry member of the All Liberian Party. We collaborate with the Unity Party of uh, former Vice President Joseph Boakai. So I will be running on my party's ticket and uh, I hope I can secure, well, I think I've pretty much secured the support of several other parties within our arrangement. So, Henry, as you said, you literally fled Liberia the last time after the government accused you of, uh, I think, forging travel documents. Can we say you are a fugitive and are you not concerned you could be arrested upon your arrival? Well, that would not be the first nor second time that I would be arrested. I've gone to jail twice on trumped up political charges. And uh, I was indeed they brought this uh, ridiculous Trump up charge that I forged an emergency travel document. Uh, sometime in March of this year, President Weir reached out to me and spoke with me and said that I should go back home and I'm, I'm a free man. And I said, no, your government is saying that I'm a fugitive from justice and you're telling me I'm a free man to go home. So if what you're saying is true, then instruct your Minister of Justice to issue a statement, trapping all those ridiculous Trump up charges. And they did that. Uh, the, the very next day after our call, in late March of this year. So all of those ridiculous charges that were brought against me, or that charge of forgery of an emergency travel document was dropped. And so I'm a free man. And even if they hadn't dropped the charges, I would have still gone home. So who dropped the charges, President Weir or the court? President Weir. Because they never went to court, Mr. Vorte. The charges were drawn up. They were never taken to court. You see, there's something called a nolle prosequa. So if there's an ongoing case in court against you, the state has a request to court to abandon the, that case. But that was never done because it, they never proceeded to court because they never had any case in the first place because it was a politically motivated thing. So the Ministry of Justice simply said the ongoing investigation into Mr. Costa's supposed forgery of a travel document has been dropped. So you mentioned you're a prospective uh, senatorial candidate. Uh, I'd like to ask you, um, what is your take on recent developments in Liberia. Let's talk about the elections coming up and the opposition readiness, corruption. Make a comment on what, how you see recent developments in Liberia. Mr. Bote, I'm very concerned, as are most Liberians, about the, the incompetence, the patent incompetence and poor handling of the electoral process by the election body, the National Elections Commission. They initially announced that voter registration would begin on the 15th of December. Then they came back and said it would not happen, and I had predicted that. Now they, are, they have announced that voter registration will commence on the 20th of March to end on the 11th of May. But we are migrating from the ORM system to the biometric system, which is what the entire world is using. And we have no 
experience whatsoever in using a biometric system. I am concerned that current crop of leadership at the Elections Commission, that they lack the competence and the capacity to conduct these elections in a credible, transparent, and fair manner. I'm very concerned about that. Well, Henry, thank you so much again. Pleasure speaking with you. Wish you success in your uh, political endeavor. Thank you very much, Mr. Balter. It has been a pleasure. Hey.